Hello and welcome to my new YouTube channel. I'm going by the name The Witch Erla and I'm going to start this channel off by unboxing my December 2023 Witch's Moon. Um, the Witch's Moon does have three tiers to their boxes. This one is the middle tier which is the Witch's Moon and it goes for $55 a month but they also have the witch's roots which is a bit less than this one as well as the witch's bounty which is a bit more um the witch's roots focuses on herbs more than this box um this one doesn't have quite as heavy of a focus on the herbs um, you get like a special larger item in this box than you would in the Witch's Roots. And then the Witch's Bounty focuses on a jewelry item. This is not a sponsored video. I do pay for these boxes with my own money. Currently, I am only subscribed to the Witch's Moon. However, I have in the past gotten the Witch's Roots and I really enjoyed it. And I've actually considered... Um, signing up for that one again as well. Anyway, let's get right into this. Um, if you want to learn more about these boxes or subscribe for yourself, their website is thewitchesmoon.com. So, I just got this today and I can't remember what they said on the website that the theme was. I believe... It's Oracle, but I could be wrong. So it comes with this here. Also, sorry if this is not all in frame. Um, and sorry if you can see the legs of my tripod. I don't really know how I want to record, um, how I want everything set up with recording because I don't really have a good place and I don't have good lighting. So I'm going to do my best. Hopefully you can see everything, but anyway, so Empire of Oracles is this month's theme. Again, this is December of 23 for those watching in the future. Um, yeah, Empire of Oracles. We won't read this though because it tells us everything that is in the box and I want it to be a surprise, so we'll set that aside. So every month you do get an oracle card and this month or it could be a tarot card sorry this month I got two of cups and it says the heart you hold is pure and deep be sure of the company you carry and keep meditate on the two of cups tarot card a potential new partnership lies ahead so there's that that's kind of cool and relevant to my life right now I'm going to push this back so that we have more room for me to lay everything out. So, usually you get um, two of the smaller Book of Shadows artwork as well as a larger one. So, I got Rowan Tree and Ash Tree. And again, I'm not sure what is in frame versus out of frame, so... There's those if you want to take a closer look. And then I got this one is the larger one. It's the Ocom Alphabet. I think I'm saying that right. I'm not too sure how it's actually pronounced. But that's really cool. It just goes over each of the alphabets. Um, what their names are. What they mean. Etc. It looks like their association to different types of trees. So that's pretty cool. I'm sorry I'm a little out of breath today. I'm fighting some kind of respiratory cold. So probably not the best day to record my first video, but um, yeah. So this is kind of new. I've gotten this subscription box for a while. Well, I got it a while ago, I should say. 
and I recently resubscribed and things didn't used to come all in one muslin bag like this. Was that muslin or not muslin? Um, whatever, mesh, mesh. Okay, whatever. So uh, I don't know what that is in the box, but it is the bigger item. So I'm going to open this all first. And I'm trying not to go through this all too quickly, but hopefully this all turns out good. So you usually get an incense sticks. This one is called Pine Man, which I have not gotten this one before. So that's really interesting. Hmm, they don't smell that strong. I'm not sure quite what they smell like. Mmm, they do smell really good though. So I'll definitely be using those because that is a very pleasant smell. And then usually you get a candle or two, but this one has been one. And I haven't received an orange one before, so that's nice. I like that. They're beeswax rolled candles. I don't know if you can tell, but um, usually they're anointed by them with something, but if they're not anointed, because sometimes they're not, you can easily just heat that up with your hands and unroll it to add your own oil or herbs inside. So I love their candles and they burn forever which is great. Batula Alba. I haven't heard of this. Some kind of herb. We'll read about it here in a minute. Hmm. Really light scent. I'm not really not sure what this is, but again, we'll figure it out. And then most of the time with this box, you do get a bath salt. So this one is Whispers of Winter Sacred Salt. Mm. I don't really want to open it because I don't know when I'm planning to use it. But as you can tell, it's a bath salt it has herbs and oils inside so they usually smell really nice next oh, a couple little pine cones those are really cute love that i am very much like a fall and winter kind of person Ooh, Peel of Lime. Let's see if that smells like anything. Again, a really light smell, but you can smell that citrus of the lime. So that's cool. And then Wildberry Bark. I don't think we usually get three different herbs like that. I think it's usually just two. So that's really cool. Okay, let's do our gemstone. So usually we do also get some kind of stone. And I'm not sure what this is. But... Like everything else, we will find out soon. Ooh, these are really cool. Let me open this. I don't see an oracle deck, so this must be the oracle tool. Which would explain this um, Book of Shadows page. So these are little casting rock not rocks oh my gosh um they are for casting 
I don't know what kind of wood they are, but little wood burned pieces of that alphabet. These are really cool. I actually don't have anything like this. So that'll be interesting to learn. I'm excited about those. And then one more thing, it looks like a spray. So oftentimes, most of the time we get, oh, it's not a spray. So most of the time we either get an aura or room spray or we get, um, like an anointing oil. So we got an oil today. Mary Meat anointing oil. And I don't know how well you can tell, but there are herbs inside and often, and it does sound like there is in this batch, um, they'll put a small quartz crystal inside the bottle as well. I'm going to smell it. Mmm. I really like that. I can't pinpoint what it smells like, but it does smell really nice. So I'm willing to bet that the candle is not anointed. Anyway, on to the large item in the box. And, oh wow. Okay. It is this carved wooden bowl with lid. I really like this. And a lot of these larger items in the box are uh, Witch's Moon exclusive items. I'm not sure. Obviously, I haven't read um, the list of items, but this may or may not be. I don't know but it's really cool. A little dusty inside, but that's fine. I love this. I have not received anything like this in a previous box, so that's cool. That's exciting. So I'm not going to read the entire list of items because as you can see, there's a lot to these, but I will go down the list of everything that's in the box and give you a rough idea of what everything is. So, and to do. So these are, oh, not those, those are pine cones. <laughs> these are oak, apparently. It says the original 20 oak Ocom staves created for this very collection. Before working with these, we recommend consecrating, empowering, and cleansing their energies. Pass them through smoke of incense, chanting their names, placing them in a bowl of salt, and visualizing their energy becoming bright and bolder. Definitely for divination. Yeah, okay, that's really hard to skim, but that's really cool. I really actually love these, and I'm betting this bowl that we got is for reading these. So yeah, hand-carved wooden bowl box with lid. So it is hand-carved for you to store your oak oak home staves. That's cool. So yeah, the Ocom Book of Shadows artwork, Rowan Tree artwork, Ash Tree artwork, 
that was a lot of information just on those staves. I don't know if you can read that, but if you wanted to pause here, you can pause it to read more detail of what this says on those. So the candle, hand rolled and anointed, so it is anointed already. Empire of Oracle Spell Candle has been anointed with the oils of sweet orange, cinnamon, pine, and cedar, created for the purpose of enhancing the energies around you as you work with your oak home staves. Cool. Um, the Pine Man Incense Sticks. Tense feelings of anxiety and worry to wash away. Oh, so the stone is African Jade. Oh, as I drop it. Um, it says, the soothing stone known for its ability to bring harmony to mind and spirit. Recommend placing it with the staves to uplift their vibrations. That's really cool. The, oh, wild cherry. I thought it said berry. Wild cherry bark. Flowering trees that are distributed throughout the eastern part of North America. Oh. These are from a cherry blossom tree. At least that's, you know, what I know them to be called. Enhancing creativity, healing, and grounding. Hmm. And then Beeth or Birch Bark. New beginnings, initiation, and changes to come. That's cool. And then oh, it skipped the lime one. That's later on, I guess. So the Merry Meat anointing oil. Uh, with the intention of drawing new experiences into your inner and outer realms. As Yule draws near, we begin to count our blessings, reminisce on the lessons learned in past months, and prepare for the opportunity of the future. This Yule marks the end of a cycle. It is important that we cherish the experiences of this time. Also, as the sun prepares to meet us again, we are offered a new start with fresh connections and boundless opportunities for growth. Included within this blend, gosh, I'm so clumsy, is birch bark and cedar. In addition, the oils of clove, pine, and juniper have been included. Accompanying a quartz crystal are a few drops of our winter solstice oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. And then the salt whispers of winter sacred salt. Um, included are herbs of rose, basil, and chamomile. In addition, the oils of sweet orange, basil, cedar, and a mix of their Yule oil. And then the lime peel is a potent agent of protection and purification. Um... Cleanse negativity from any space. And then Yule Pine Cones. For you to put on your altar. And then, yeah, our Oracle Reading. Even though that was a tarot card, it says Oracle Reading. And then... These boxes always include a blank sheet of parchment paper for you to do whatever you wish with. So anyway, that is everything that we got in our December of 2023 Witches Moon box. Like I said at the start of this video, I really want to um, develop this channel and start doing these unboxings every month as I get my boxes. I've only so far signed up for the Witch's Moon. I also have actually signed up for 
a box called um, Witch Box, which is from the UK. And I probably won't get that one until the end of the month. And I signed up for um, a subscription service called Ritual that starts with a WR. Um, yeah. So my Ritual box I should be getting tomorrow, I believe, if everything is still on time. And I will unbox that. I've never received that box before. So that will definitely be a new one for me. So it'll be cool to open that on camera for the very first time so we could see what it's like together. I ordered their planner, their um, monthly box, as well as um, their Sabbath journal. And as the name, um, not as the name, oh my gosh, sorry, my brain isn't working the best right now. Um, it is a planner type subscription service, but as the name suggests, it is magically inclined. So like I said, that's new for me and pretty exciting for me. Actually, it's something I've been wanting for a while and I didn't even know was out there. So I'll be getting, like I said, their 2024 planner. Did I say that? I don't remember, but I'll be getting their 2024 planner and, um, the monthly box includes like a journal for each month. So I'm assuming I'll be getting December's little workbook journal, whatever it is. And then I'm assuming I'll also be getting the Yule workbook. At least that is my hope. I know we're already like a third of the way through December almost, which is crazy. And Yule is like rapidly approaching, but I can still get use out of those things. And I'm really excited for them. And hopefully you'll be excited to see them because I actually scoured YouTube and I didn't find a single unboxing for Ritual's monthly box. And I know in the box I should also be getting a couple other things. Um, but like I said, I couldn't find an unboxing, so I have no idea what is completely in it. Anyway, those are two that you can look forward to seeing, um, hopefully soon. And next month I'll see you again for my Witch's Moon. Obviously this is not a subscription box I plan to cancel anytime soon. And with that said, if you watched this all the way through, thank you so much for watching. And if you have any suggestions on uh, subscription services um, that you would like to see unboxings for, leave that in the comments below and I'll see what I can do as long as they are witchy themed. I have no problem trying it at least once. But yeah, that's what I got. Again, thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.